Adelaide. It's one of the world's most livable cities. Adelaide is a city that has great character and people love living here. It's close to shopping, entertainment and restaurants and never too far from the beautiful parklands. It's a great place to do business. Convenient, close to universities and efficient public transport with an international airport just 20 minutes away. So how will it grow into the future? The vision is to grow the resident and worker populations of the city and to create a vibrant city with many places, one of the great small cities in the world. The City of Adelaide Development Plan is important in shaping the future of the city as it guides how and where and how much the City of Adelaide will grow and develop over the next 30 years. And we want you to have your say in shaping this future. Planning for the future of the city is well progressed. In 2012, the development plan was changed to allow for more growth and higher buildings, particularly in the CBD. East and west of the CBD and around Whitmore and Hurtle Squares and along sections of South Terrace. Focus has now moved to the traditional main streets of O'Connell, Melbourne and Hutt and the traditional residential areas of the city. The residential areas in North Adelaide are not included. Main streets. For O'Connell, Melbourne and Hutt streets, the planning policy's aim is to keep the types of land uses currently in the street, with emphasis on providing services and facilities for the local community, including allowing small licensed premises, such as small venues. Some increases to the allowable building heights are also proposed. O'Connell Street in North Adelaide. This is the northern end of O'Connell Street, and this shows how a four-storey building could be developed in line with the proposed planning policy. Melbourne Street in North Adelaide. This is a view looking west along Melbourne Street. And this shows how a four-storey building could be developed in line with the proposed planning policy. Similar development is proposed along Hutt Street. Residential areas. It's proposed to strengthen the historic character of sections of the southeast and southwest residential areas through the creation of a historic conservation zone and areas. These are shown in purple and pink. New buildings will need to be designed to be in keeping with the area. A city living zone. All other areas in the southeast and southwest are included in the city living zone. There are some proposed increases to allowable building heights in this zone. However, these are generally limited to three storeys in the southeast and southwest, four storeys in the central south around Pulteney Grammar School, and four storeys for East Terrace. Buildings up to six levels are allowable along South Terrace. This movie has provided an overview of the project and some of the proposed changes. However, there is a lot of detail to the changes and we invite you to get into contact with us. There are a number of ways you can get more information. Come and visit us at the Planning Centre. Staff are available from 10am to 4pm Monday to Friday to help you. You can speak with our planners, David or Beth. To have your say, go to the web, yoursay.adelaide.com and use the interactive 3D model. Then you can register to get involved and stay updated with the progress of the DPA. Please provide your comments to us by 5pm on Thursday the 16th of January 2014. We look forward to you having your say on the future of our great city.